This is Frank Islam, Chairman and CEO of FI Investment Group and your host of Washington Calling, where we interview leading voices from business and politics that impact you, the viewer. Today, we are fortunate to have a distinguished guest. His name is Gurrez Hoda. Mr. Hoda is the founder trustee and the president of Hikmat Foundation. Previously, he was an Indian administrative service officer, also known as IAS and work with the World Bank. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. Mr. Hora, you have had a very interesting and distinguished career as a civil servant in IAS, then at World Bank, and now with Hikmat Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about your career and your story, your journey, which is a remarkable for our global audience? Well, I mean, uh, I am from Bihar, uh, which is a state in Eastern India. Uh, we are from a district called Champaran, uh, which Gandhi made famous, or as some in my district say, the district which made Gandhi famous. Uh, then I went to Delhi for my education, joined the civil services, the Indian Administrative Service. The first 10 years of my life, I was in Assam. Uh, that's where I was living and working, except for a two-year detour. I actually came to Washington, D.C. for American University. I was on a fellowship. It's part of the Fulbright system. Uh, after Assam, moved to Ministry of Finance in the uh, government of India. Uh, this was the 1991-92 critical period for us. Uh, I had good mentors. Uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh was my boss. He was the finance oh. minister. And uh, he was very kind. Uh, after two years, he shipped me off to Washington. And uh, oh, wow. he actually, he, he, he put me on the track. Uh, and so I came to Washington to the World Bank. Uh, initially, I was a staff officer to an executive director on the board of the World Bank Group. Uh, but then I decided to stay on and I spent most of my career in the World Bank Group in what's called the International Finance Corporation, which is the private sector arm of the World Bank Group, right. which led to the private sector. Did my stint, I was in America, I think 22, 23 years. Wow. Saw, saw the world on behalf of IFC, uh, World Bank. Uh, I finally left the IFC World Bank uh, at the end of 2013 when I was in Istanbul, uh, in Turkey. I came back to Bihar, my mother was getting old, was getting old. So uh, when I came back, I got a position with the government, of government of Bihar. Uh, people were kind, they gave me something to do here. But this is the time I started reconnecting with uh, my ancestral land, which is in Champaran. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and uh, education was something I was always very passionate about. We want to talk about your foundation in a minute. But before we do that, I would like you to tell us a little bit about the IAS and its perceived role in India's uh, bureaucracy. And can you shed some bright lights on how the Indian diplomats compare with those of the leading countries, like the United States and China and others? So the Indian Administrative Service, uh, uh, the members there, primarily work within the country, uh, and they take positions in state governments. Uh, initial period, they work in districts as district magistrates, uh, but then they sort of graduate into policy-making roles. And uh, uh, some of them go abroad for posting, but there's a separate diplomatic core um, where people are recruited into the Indian Foreign Service, uh, who are mostly in the Indian uh, Diplomatic core. I think the quality of people coming into the elite service, IES is an elite service. Uh, it's a very competitive examination. Uh, I think the quality is very good. Uh, I think people, uh, they are quite dedicated or they were quite dedicated. I mean, uh, I joined in 1970s. Uh, uh, it's, it's eons ago. So Obviously, a lot of things must have changed. Uh, right. But no, I think, uh, I think it was a good system. Uh, maybe we can talk about later. Of, yes. Uh, what are my views about it now? But uh, let me not jump ahead. 
has the role of the India civil servant changed over the years? What about the representation of the minorities, especially the Muslims, in the civil service? Is it increasing or decreasing? And how do you tell a young Muslim boys and girls that you have a future as an IAS officer? And what advice would you give it to them in order for them to be a, a, as, as an IS officer, would you tell them that no hope should be high enough for, for them to achieve, no dream should be large enough for them to achieve? Uh, let me start from the last comment which you made. Absolutely. Uh, not only for the IES, but for all dreams. Uh, I mean, the sky is the limit. If you work hard, you, you educate yourself well, uh, you are lucky enough to have good mentors, uh, nothing is beyond your reach. I mean, there are no supermen in life. We are all 